the most valuable skill you can sell is knowledge and the capacity to learn new knowledge. Uh, we've got to do more to offer our children uh, a world-class education. We've got to make high-quality pre-K available to every child so that they get the benefit of early enrichment and they come to school prepared. We have to encourage more young people, especially young women uh, and minority students, to study in the fields of the future like math, technology, engineering, science. We need to keep working to redesign our high schools uh, to offer more ha hands-on learning opportunities that can lead directly to jobs and careers and can engage students in different ways based on uh, their interests and uh, their learning styles. We need teachers who know how to make learning come alive with personalized instruction and project-based learning. And we've got to do more to make sure that our teachers are supported and receive the kind of professional training and best practices. Uh, and I personally think higher pay uh, that's going to encourage the best and the brightest to continue to be in the field. We've got to make sure that no striving young person is priced out of a college education. These are all critical ingredients to uh, our effort at, at continuous improvement in education. And one of the things that we also need to do is to yank our schools into the 21st century when it comes to technology and providing the tools and training the teachers need to use that technology to prepare all of our students for the competition that they're going to face globally. Other countries are doing this. They are trying to out-educate us today so that they can out-compete us tomorrow. South Korea is replacing all of its textbooks with digital content and training all of its teachers to use technology in the classroom. Singapore is equipping every school with broadband that's over 40 times faster than the connection in the average American home. So we're going to have to step up our game if we're going to make sure that every child in America can go as far as their dreams and talents will take them. And that's why last year I launched an initiative called Connect Ed. It's a five-year plan to close the technology gap in our schools and connect 99% of American students to high-speed internet. And, and this is why it's important. Right now, fewer than 40% of public schools have high-speed internet in their classrooms, less than half. That's not good since we invented the internet. <laughs> it's not good. And today, the, the best news of all is you're taking the next step along with 1,200 other superintendents nationwide by signing the Future Ready District Pledge. So with that, I think all the superintendents are ready to sign this pledge for our kids. Everybody get your tablets out. You ready? All right, go at it. You're being tested. <laughs>